Okay, do you know who experiences khushu'a most these days? Lovers. Lovers experience khushu'a. What did the brothers say khushu'a is? Essence of khushu'a? Connection to Allah. What do lovers have? Connection to their beloved ones. What happens? They develop this focus. Yeah? This focus about their love, of the person they love. And have you, have you ever dealt with someone, with, let me say, a young man who loves a woman? Let's go a bit deeper into human nature because it helps us understand what khushu'a is. You know, many times, <clears throat> there's a problem with the way we, we understand or we relate to our deen, by the way. You can find someone who's practicing, prays the five, uh, prays the five daily prayers in the masjid, reads a lot of Qur'an, could be half of as well, yeah? Excellent, like a perfect Muslim. Go and see him in the market, cheats, lies, and does all sorts of bad things. It's schizophrenic, two personalities. And you think that's uncommon? Very common, all around the Muslim world. All around the Muslim world. That's one of our biggest problems. Okay, back to the lover. Have you... Let me ask the question, who has ever experienced someone, don't tell me about yourself, but about someone, have you ever seen a lover, someone who's truly in love? Who, who hasn't seen someone in love? Could you ever have a proper conversation with that person? Impossible. Impossible. Because whatever you talk about, they're going to always gravitate to, their, to the person they love. Everything. Yeah? They might love like a girl, and you talk to them about cars. You talk to them about football. Okay? You start talking about football, about this team, that team, Manchester United, Liverpool, uh, Arsenal, etc. Okay? And then, all of a sudden, this person can find a connection in your conversation and bring it back to the girl they love. You can never hold a proper conversation with them. What is this? It's khushu'a. It's devotion, it's connection. It's connection. That's what we need to have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even better than that. By the way, that's not my own analogy. That's Ibn al-Qayyim's analogy. Ibn al-Qayyim uses that analogy. He says when you see someone in love, you know, you can never talk to them. You can never have a proper conversation with them. They would always find a connection to the person they love and they will bring back the conversation to that point. That's their reference point. That's where they live. That's where the heart is. That's where the khushu' is. That's it. And when they think about their love, there's extreme focus. Whatever, they, whatever you talk to them about, they're, they're not interested. And this is why they bring it back to their love. If it has to do with the person they love, you know, they're all ears and eyes. And they listen to you, they focus and everything. That's khushu'a. And when they think about their love, how do they look like? Yeah? As if they've, they're in this ocean of dreams and they're in a different world. You see? It's that khushu'a. It's that khushu'a. It's their, you know, the whole faculties are in one direction. That's what khushu'a is. And that's what we need to do when it comes to our prayer with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now, how can we develop khushu'a?